Welcome to San Diego's most popular local morning news. Good morning, San Diego. Sandra is with Matt Battiata, who is a local real estate agent, but just back from Washington, D.C., trying to twist some arms. Good morning, Sandra. Yes, thank you, Dan. You know, with no sign of San Diego's real estate market getting any better, a local realtor, Matt Battiata, took his concerns directly to the nation's capital. Foreclosures continue to go up, and Matt's main concern is that people simply don't know what their options are. He's here this morning with some uh, tips to share after his recent trip to Washington. Good morning. Good morning. You represent 500 local families who are facing foreclosure, bankruptcy. What is it like to deal with them on a daily basis? Well, it's heartbreaking, especially when they're actually trying. Most of these people are not just giving up and throwing the keys on the counter. They're trying to do the right thing. So they're calling their banks and they're trying to do a loan modification or do a short sale. And in majority of the cases, the bank is basically telling them to jump in a lake. And that's why, in your previous piece, that's why people vandalize their homes when they go to foreclosure, because a lot of them are upset because they have tried for a year to get their banks to help them to do anything so they can stay in their homes. And the banks, for the most part, are just telling homeowners, we can't help you. Now, your, your trip to Washington recently, T talk about some of the lawmakers that you met with. I met with all of our, uh, both of our California senators, Barbara Boxer and Diane Feinstein's office. I met with uh, Brian Bilbray's office, our, one of our representatives from here in San Diego, and also uh, Barney Frank's office, who's the uh, chairman of the House Finance Committee. Now, what was the purpose of your trip? The purpose is to, was to give them, uh, kind of give them what's, tell them what's happening here on the front lines in one of the worst markets in the country, and let them know what the banks are are doing, and most importantly, what they're not doing to help people, and then to give them my suggestions, you know, my humble suggestions on on what. I think they can do because they're going to be passing legislation coming up here to try to revive the housing market and help people stay in their homes. And what are some of those suggestions uh, that you have for them and for homeowners who are facing foreclosure? Well, for homeowners facing foreclosure, it's that you do have options. If you're facing foreclosure, the worst thing you can do is ignore the problem. You, you can possibly do a loan modification. Most the banks, most of the banks are not really doing loan modifications right now, but you can do a short sale and save your credit. So that's that's one part of it. But as far as with with the my suggestions to lawmakers, mm -hmm. the big one is that the way you revive a real estate market is not by dropping people's mortgage balances, which is one of the, the probably the biggest proposal on Capitol Hill right now. It's by lowering mortgage rates so buyers get into the market. So the first the first suggestion, which is actually they, they seem to be responding to, is lowering mortgage rates. There's a proposal to drop mortgage rates down to four percent but but more importantly to stop the foreclosures you have to allow upside down homeowners to refinance to those lower mortgage rates just by lowering interest rates that's great for buyers but if you're in your home and you can't make your payments you can't refinance because you're upside down um, and it, even with lower interest rates you're not going to be able to refi so that's not going to help you you have to allow upside down borrowers to refinance they will stay in their homes if they can refinance you had six other points too let's quickly go over some of the other points that you made to, to them uh... lowering interest rates was one allowing uh... upside down homeowners to to refinance now when, the other key point with this is when you allow those borrowers those homeowners to refinance down to the lower rates those become full recourse loans which means they can't just walk away a year from now the loan will follow them not just the house so that's very important um, the, the other things are they're a little bit more esoteric as far as allowing investors to buy more homes. Right. But the big one that's very, very unpopular politically is bringing back stated income loans. There are a lot of people who are self-employed, they're business owners, they run their money through their businesses. All these people bought these homes in the last few years, a lot of them stated income, which means you don't show your tax returns, etc. So my proposal is bring back stated income loans, make people put 20% down, but you have to bring back stated income loans because there's a lot of people that want to get in the market. How can. were your ideas received? They were very well received, frankly. They mm -hmm. were well received, but you know, in politics there's a lot of compromise, there's a lot of checks and balances. And time is of the essence too, because yeah. here we have people, lives are in the balance, right. where, uh, their livelihoods. Yeah. So what happens to the 500 people that you're representing right now? These are all people who are doing short sales, and the majority of them will do successful short sales. They'll save their credit. Their homes, obviously, they won't get a foreclosure on the credit. They'll sell their homes on the open market. The bank pays all the selling costs. 
they walk away, they go rent for a couple of years and save their money, and in two years at the bottom of the market, when, which is going to be a huge buying opportunity, they can get back in. Well, that's a rosy picture that you're painting. I, I hope you're I mean, right. That's, that's the best option for people that are in that situation. It'll be the buying opportunity of a lifetime at the bottom of this market. The worst thing you can do is let your home go to foreclosure, declare bankruptcy. It's totally unnecessary. If people know their options, they can do a short sale. Matt Battietta, thanks for your thoughts. Sure. Appreciate your time this morning.